miniaturized Glock design, basically. And of course, it takes down the same way as the Glock. Check your chamber, pull your trigger, pull down on these little takedown latches on the left and the right side as you simultaneously pull the slide rearward just about a millimeter or so and then let the slide go forward. And of course, you'll recognize the striker fire me mechanism here. Even the, uh, the double uh, spring now, it kind of reminds me of a Gen 4 Glock. Uh, the barrel, this just pops out just like a Glock and the barrel falls right out. Um, it's kind of oily right now, so I'm probably not going to take that apart on camera, but uh, everyone that is familiar with Glocks knows how that works. So being able to get those sights squared away was a huge bonus in my book, a huge boost to how I feel about the pistol now that I'm shooting uh, uh, right on the sight blade where I like to shoot. I'm very particular about my sights. When I hold the blade, the front blade of the sight on something at a given distance, I like it to hit right on top of that blade. So if I wanted to shoot at the number 10 with a sight, I would move that blade right there and I would like to hit the 10 with it. To me, that's just how I've always shot sights. Um, I don't like a big, tall 6 o'clock hold. Now, the grip on this gun is a little bit slippery. This is just some masking tape there to cover up my serial number, guys. Um, nothing fancy's trick there. Thank you, nothing. Um, this grip is a little bit slippery on the sides and the back, but what's very nice about this is it's a flat surface all the way across here. If I want to put a little bit of skateboard tape on there, which I might do, I might go ahead and cut a little template and put skateboard tape here, uh, I have that option. On the front, the front strap, which is very important on a gun that's this small with this short of a, of a front strap, they gave us some real nice pattern or texture there. Hopefully I can focus in on that. There we go. Uh, so I was uh, very pleased with that. On the back strap, I don't need a whole lot of anything there. Uh, what's on there right now is just fine. Um, you can see that this did have kind of some white three dot sights on it. Part of that white was lost up here when I ground down the front sight. Uh, I may or may not touch that up with uh, some uh, white enamel. We'll just see how things go. Right now I'm just shooting it and enjoying it. It's not a low light gun or anything like that at this point in time. Just a great looking little gun. It does remind me a lot of a Glock, uh, kind of dimensionally of a Glock 19 actually, which is one of my favorite all time pistols. So just wanted to share my initial thoughts of, of this after having it now for about 48 hours. and. Uh, We'll close the book here and head on to the shooting video. Okay guys, looking at the uh, Diamondback DP380. You'll see the uh, first target that I shot the other night. I did keep it. And I'm going to have one of the reviewers here give it a shot. What distance we at? 21. 21, 7 yards. So we're going to load up and get going. Longest, uh, longest common engagement distance in most self-defense shootings. There you go. It does take a little practice to get on that trigger because the, uh, the pull from the back of the grip to the trigger is, uh, is very short. The trigger pull itself is long, but the distance from the uh, trigger to the back strap here, from here to here, is very short. Uh, Mick here has got some pretty big hands, so it's even more of an issue with him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Put that thing in the palm of your hand, dude. Let's see this. Yeah, so it's a pretty small pistol. You can see it right next to the uh, TRP, of course. Big difference. Okay, we had our first malfunction there. Uh, failure to eject all the way. Go ahead and clear it and we'll move on. Excellent, man. You don't have any trouble with that thing, do you? No. Oh. Murder itself, too.
Yeah, there's some more rounds in there, and then I've got the backpack. So, uh, let's see, we're about, oh, two and a quarter inches. Let me see if the shooter here agrees. I don't have, have anything to put up against it. It's pretty good. Center pretty to good center, two and a quarter, two and a half. Yeah. There's one back there too. Is up the rest of your ammo. I feel bad. I got more in the backpack. All right. I love. It's nice to have somebody else to shoot. Okay, back up to 21 feet. Nice. I think he read my mind. I'm just going to have him do some uh, little bit more rapid fire. And you can see he's got beautiful solid hits right in the torso. Actually, they fell mostly within his first group. He's only got one low shot here. Nice shoot, Mick. Thank you. Nice job. Cool, bro. The ammunition that I'm shooting today is Cellular Bloat, or S&B for short. It's got the uh, characteristic red primer on it. So we'll get loaded and get to work. I'm just going to put in five. We'll do five round groups. Okay, the camera might be a little bit cockeyed here, but uh, it's the only way I could get it to aim upwards. Okay guys, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Let's bring it on in here. As you see right there, we've got a pretty nice group. There's a 380 case. And it did just fine. Looking at about an inch and a half, inch and three eighths uh, in the core group right here. This one's out a little bit. Total group size is right about two inches. I'm going to load up five more and we'll continue with the group here. All right. Back once more. Seven yards, 21 feet. Loading up my magazine really quick. And if I can do a group like that again, I'll be perfectly happy. I'm really happy with this, guys. This is the Diamondback DB380, and uh, I actually went all inside of my other my other holes there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a wide angle of my shooting here, just so it doesn't look like I'm shooting off a rest or something. I'm not telling you guys, but again, we are only at 21 feet, and it's shooting good. So I'm going to back off the camera here. Okay, I did flinch a little bit there, but uh, on my last shot on the empty chamber, that felt kind of stupid, but as you can see, we went all inside the other holes. And we'll go pull that 
again. And I'll show you. I am very pleased with this thing. Now guys, I did, I did adjust the sights on this gun, which I'll show to you later in the desktop, and I'll show you exactly what I did. But that is just great accuracy. Here's a 380 round. So the gun's just fantastic. That is uh, what's going on right now with the DB380. Uh, so far, so good, I like it. I love the accuracy. The gun shoots, uh, shoots awesome. Very happy with it. I'm going, going to keep working on it. I'm gonna take it home so I can clean it real good. It has had 200 rounds through it. And uh, we'll do a follow-up review later. That's it, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.